Let's we'll start sitting because it's just it's just routine really. I always keep trying to start in a different way and then it doesn't work for me. Anyway, so let's start sitting. So sitting on your mat, legs outstretched. So just rock from side to side, right seat bone left, right to left, and then just sort of wiggle it and push those seat bones into the floor. And um, that, uh, let, um, roll back onto the tailbone. And then pull yourself up nice and tall, hold behind those sides, lift that chest up, push the head to the ceiling, squeeze those shoulder blades together. So really get those shoulder blades together. So we were talking yesterday about the position of the shoulders. So pull those shoulders up to the ears, that's 12 o'clock. Pull them behind you, and that can be three or nine, depending on how you look at your clock. Down to the bottom is six, and up to the front is three or nine. So up to the ears, down to the three or nine, and then pull them down to the four o'clock or seven o'clock. So down that bottom quadrant, not six, because six makes you drop your shoulders forwards again. So we want them back and down. And that's where our shoulders need to live. If we have our, lift your hands up so your elbows are by your side, and just take your arms out wide, keep your hands wide, keep the elbows by your side. You can feel the shoulders retract and you can feel them coming back. That's the position the shoulders want to be in. So then when you put your arms back in front, we've got those shoulders in that back and down position. If we extend our hands forwards, we keep those shoulders in that four, four to seven o'clock position. If we pull those elbows behind us, we're keeping them back. Keep them down, don't hunch them up. So as I take my hands through, I keep my shoulders down. Keep them down, keep them at the four to seven o'clock side, shoulders back. Pull those elbows back down by your side. Yeah, shoulders down, and then open your hands apart. Turn your palms to the ceiling and feel that that opens your chest, pulls those shoulder blades together. So we've got to practice. So I often walk around, I, when I was getting myself used to this, take those hands towards the front and then pull those hands back. I used to walk around the boatyard sometimes with my hands doing this, just to remind myself, get those shoulders back and down. And then put those hands in front and slide them forward as if you've got a tray on them. But keep your shoulders back. Back, so don't allow them to go like that. You've got to stay back. Okay, pop those hands on your thighs. And slide your hands down your thighs. So I'm keeping my shoulders back and down even when my hands go forward. My shoulders are back. Soften the knees and pull that tummy onto those thighs. Let that head come all the way down to the chest. And then pull that head all the way back up so you look up. All the way up to the sky with the eyes. And then pull that head all the way down to the chin, all the way into the chest. Feel it through the back, release the head, sit up tall, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pop your hands on the floor behind. Squeeze those elbows together, lift that chest up high. Breathing in, breathing out, push that chest forward. Breathing in. Breathing out, push off those fingers, slide forward with those hands, all the way down to your feet. Let your shoulders go, all the way down to your feet. Lift your hands up, bring your body up to vertical, bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Big circle round, dust the floor, slide your hands forwards onto your, down your legs. Bring that head down towards your knees, and then bring those hands up away from your feet. Lift your body up tall and bring those hands all the way up high and rest them on the floor behind you. Squeeze those elbows together, push that chest forward, bring that chin high, big breath in, clench the bum, push the toes to the sky, tighten the thighs so you push the knees to the floor and then lift your bum up off the floor, lift those hips up high and lengthen your body. And then lower yourself all the way back down, push off your hands, Round yourself all the way forwards to those feet. Bring your arms all the way up to the sky. Big circles with the big circle with those arms. Rest them on the floor behind you. Push those shoulders for, uh, together. Push that chest up. Squeeze those elbows. Breathing in. Breathing out. Clench and lift those hips up off the floor. Take the head back. Lengthen from the top of your head to your heels. Push your chest up, bring your chin back to your chest and lower yourself back down. Pushing off those hands, come onto those to the middle bottom. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Put the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind and turn. 
And then go the other way, right hand on the left knee, left hand behind and turn the other way. And then grab your roller. And we will roll through that upper back. So grabbing the roller. Have your knees bent, my feet are at the bottom of the mat. And I'm just going to put the roller on the bottom ribs, breathing in, breathing out. Take hold of that head and stretch that body all the way over the roller. Push the chest up high, breathing in, breathing out. Bring that chin back up to the chest and then move that roller. We'll just do three of these. So move it halfway up your upper back, breathing in. Breathing out, lengthen all the way over that roller, reaching and stretching. And then breathing in, bring that chin to the chest, sitting up a bit, move the roller up. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthen the body all the way over the roller, push the chest up high, breathing in, breathing out. Lift the tailbone off the floor and move the roller down to the bottom ribs and all the way back up. So keeping that back, chest up, keeping that um, head tipped back, moving that roller all the way up and all the way down, all the way up and all the way down. And leaning onto that left hand side. So just on the left, moving those ribs all the way up, all the way down. And then just go over onto the left hand side, keeping that head tipped back a bit. So we're keeping the arch in the body down through those bottom ribs. So I find the floating ribs on this side a bit catchy. So right down at the bottom, on the bottom part of my ribs. I'm just going to have a little roll in that area and just see what's going on. And then go all the way up up into my armpit, all the way up through that armpit, and then all the way back down to the bottom ribs. And then I'm going to go over onto my back again. The roller always wants to creep off the top of the mat, all the way down, and then over onto the right hand side. Down. And then right over onto the right, through that armpit, all the way up, all the way down. And then so I'm right on my right hand side, going through that armpit, and then slowly go back through those ribs. And come back over onto your back, opening that chest, really pushing that breastbone high, pulling those shoulder blades back and down. And then rest with the roller in the middle of your um, in the middle of your ribs. Breathing in, breathing out, let that head go down to the floor, push the breastbone up. And take those fingertips over your head, palms together, and slide your hands away on the floor. Really push those hands away nice and long. And then lengthening those legs away, push the toes away from the fingertips. Reaching and stretching. Bring those fingers up to the sky, chin into the chest. And then roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Roll your roller in. And we'll sit on this. So we're just going to whiz around the legs, go, go quite briskly. So roll through that bum, through the right buttock. And we can go down into the um, TFL at the top of that right side. So through from the top of my hip bone. So we avoid the lower back, but we can go through the bony bit there that supports it. So I go through my buttock into my lower back on my right. And then I'm going to slide over into the, onto the right hand side here through the um, iliotibial band attachments all the, all the way through rolling round onto the front here through my hip flexors 
You cross them to the left leg through those hip flexors. And then over onto the outside edge of that left leg through that hip joint. And then through the buttock. And then back onto the back onto the back. Good. And then slide the roller down to the <clears throat> underneath, just at the base of the bum, and roll it all the way down to the bottom of the, the top of the knees and back, all the way down. Turning those toes in so we get the inner thigh. And then we're going to go all the way around that leg. So I'm going to go towards my right first. All the way up and down. All the way up. All the way down. It does make a difference, this, because I definitely could not do this on just one leg. All the way up. Good. All the way through. And all the way down. And then over onto the outside of that leg. And then all the way around onto the back of the left leg. Good, so we're just doing a couple of rolls up and down all the way around. And then I can roll on both of my legs. Good, pop your bum on the floor, push the roller down into those calves. And then this is my more delicate area, up and down there. Taking one leg off, that is quite hard, that is quite painful. And the other side. And then just going around. Good. And then shift that roller out of the way. We might come back to that in a bit. Okay, swing round onto all fours. Swing round onto all fours. So pop the roller out of the way. So hands are under the shoulders, middle fingers are parallel. Turn the inside of the elbows forward, which is the same as what we were doing with our elbows by our side. Turning the inside of the elbow forward, rotates this upper arm and um, stabilizes the shoulder joint. Pull those knees apart on the mat, lengthen the head from the tailbone. Turn the tailbone down and push the middle of the back up and take the top of the head to the floor. Really push through that lower back, keep the inside of the elbows forwards. Turn the tailbone up to the sky, take the belly to the floor and push the top of your head up and away. So we're really curving through that chest. So a nice even curve through your chest, pushing the breastbone forward towards the front of the mat. And then tailbone down and push that back up. So trying to get an even curve, so stretching through the waistband. Good, brilliant, really nice. And turn that tailbone up. Bring the breastbone forward towards the front of the mat. Turn the inside of the elbows forward, pulling the knees apart on the mat so we're stabilizing those glutes. And in this position, let's glide backwards, keeping that curve, that downward sink of the belly. Gliding backwards, pull those knees apart and bring yourself back up onto all fours. Use your glutes to come forward. Glide yourself back, keeping those knees apart. Feel the tension in the glute and close down that hip joint. Lift yourself back up onto the onto all fours. One more, gliding back. Good. And then coming back up. Turn the toes over so the soles of your feet are on the floor. Spread those toes against the or, or on the floor. Keep the elbows turned forward, breathing in on the out breath, neutral spine. So just lift that pelvis so that it's horizontal to the floor and then push those off those feet. Straighten the knees and come up into the down dog position. 
So armpits down towards your toes, pushing off the balls of your hand, tummy onto those thighs, push that right heel back, push that left heel back, push that right heel back, push that left heel back, push both heels back, spread those toes onto the floor, lift onto your toes, and then lower those heels down to the ground, pushing those the tailbone up to the sky, pushing the tailbone away from the fingertips, pushing the tailbone away from the heels, breathing in. On the out breath, swing forward into plank. So we've just unbent our hip, lengthen. So my hips are parallel to, to or in line with the leg, which is in line with the spine. Draw those bottom ribs up, open that chest. Push off the toes and glide forward, glide back. Glide forward. Glide back, glide forwards, glide back. Drop the knees to the floor and lower yourself down onto your belly. Turn the toes over, let those forearms drop onto the ground and lift just the chest up, keeping the bottom rib on the ground. Lengthen those legs, clench the bum. Breathing in, pull those shoulders to four o'clock. Breathing out, eyes are horizontal to the floor. So I'm resting on my pubic bone and my bottom rib. My tummy's lifted, thighs are tight, pushing those legs away, knees and feet are off the ground. Lower yourself back down to the floor. Slide those hands down to the bottom ribs, breathing in. On the out breath, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. And lift up onto your bottom rib, clench your bum, draw in the core. Squeeze that belly and lift it. Now lift onto the pubic bone. So I come straight, the bends at the hip, breathing in on the out breath, straighten the arms and come onto the knees. Breathing in on the out breath, tighten the thighs, lift the knees off the floor. Lengthen the head from the toes so we lift that hammock a bit tighter. Push that chest forward, breathe in. Drop the knees to the floor, turn the toes over. Push the bum up into the air and come back up into down dog. So I do adjust my feet and my hands around. I would rather they were, they were in the right place. I'd rather my toes were level on the mat. The balls of my feet were a few inches apart. The heels are, are double that distance. My hands and middle fingers parallel, armpits pulling down towards those toes. Push that tailbone into the sky, bring the belly down towards the thighs. Push the right heel down. Left heel, <coughs> right heel. Left heel, push both heels down, lift those toes up, <clears throat> spread them on the floor, lift up onto, the, onto, your, uh, onto your toes. Drop those heels down, push the armpits down, breathing in. On the out breath, step the left leg forward. Let that hip come, drop down towards the floor. Sorry, so I've stepped that left leg forward in between my hands. Good. Push that heel of that right leg away. Push the groin down towards the front feet. Keep that left knee out wide so you can drop the body down in between your feet. Open the chest, eyes up, breathing in. On the out breath, drop the back knee to the floor, turn the toes over, come up onto your knee and your foot. Pulling that pubic bone forward, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Bring that left arm, the right arm up into the sky. Push that right arm up high, <clears throat> push that right knee down low. Reaching and stretching. Breathing in, breathing out, pushing the right knee up, right hand up, <clears throat> right knee down, stretching through this right hand side. Bring that right arm down, one hand either side of this front leg and glide that front leg, glide the bum back, stretch through that front leg. Take the tummy button down, pull the toes to the nose. Push the toes away. Try and get the front leg straight. Pull the toes to your nose. Push the toes away. Push the chest forward. If you want to just have your, if you want to bring your hands further back so you can get that front leg straight, that's fine. And then glide the body forward, bending that front knee. Turn the back toe over. Push off the back foot and both feet together. Keep those eyes down. Let that head hang loose, soft knees. Breathing in on the out breath, straighten those knees. Breathe in on the out breath, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Bring those arms all the way out wide, hands in prayer above the head. Breathing in, reaching up tall, uh, leaning backwards and stretching through that core. Use those feet, be aware of the feet 
evenly placed on the ground, bring those arms out wide, chin into the chest, and roll yourself all the way down. Loosen that head and neck, hands on the thighs. Lift that body up into tabletop, so we're nice and straight, shoulders back to four o'clock. Tummy, uh, chest forward, belly to the floor. Push that tailbone up to the sky, stretch the back of the legs. Push the tailbone up, stretch, push the head away from the tailbone. Breathing in on the out breath, round down and hang. Hold on to those elbows. Let yourself just hang, let gravity space through those vertebrae. Loosen that head and neck. Pop those hands to the floor and step that left leg backwards. Left leg back, stretch through that groin. Push the chest forward, breathing in. Push the heel away, push the knee tight, drop that back knee to the floor, breathing in. On the out breath, push the groin down towards the front heel. Push up off that front foot and come onto the knee and the front foot. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Bring that left arm up to the sky. Push that left arm up high, reach, reach, reach. Push that left knee down. Reach that left arm up, stretch through that left side. Bring that left arm back down, put it once one either side of that front foot. Glide that leg backwards, that bum backwards. Breathing in. On the out breath, pull the toes to the nose. Push the toes away. Pull the toes to the nose. Put the foot flat on the floor. Glide the body weight forward. Bending the front knee. Lift that back leg up. Push that back heel away. Push the chest forward. And step both feet forwards. Both feet together again. Hold on to those elbows and let them hang. Bring those toes up. Actually, let your hands, hands hang down. Grab onto your toes and lift those toes up. Spread those toes on the floor. Take hold of your elbows, let them hang. Let that head be loose. Feel the pressure evenly around the ball of the foot, the outside edge and into that heel. Let those hands hang down, push those knees backward and roll yourself all the way up, keeping those knees apart, the clenching with the bum. Roll all the way up to standing, roll those shoulders up to the ears down and back, big circles with those arms reaching up, Sweeping down past your side, reaching up, hold them in the sky, palms together. Reaching up tall, leaning back, stretching through the front of that body, clenching with the bum, clenching with the stomach, chin into the chest, Oh, that wide. Roll yourself all the way back down. Let yourself hang here, loosen that head and neck. Loosen that head and neck. Take that right leg back. Lengthening through the front of the body. Drop that back knee to the floor. Turn those back toes over. Lift yourself up nice and tall. Take this right hand up into the sky. Reach and stretch. Push that right hand away from that right knee. And then bring that hand back down by the side. Palms on the floor. Turn the back toe over. Lift the back knee. I'm going to bring my hands inside, so my left hand inside my left foot, slide that left leg back into the plank, lengthen the body, push the head away from the heels, draw in the core, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back, push off the toes and glide forward, glide back, glide forward, glide back, glide forward, hold it there, drop the knees down, Come all the way down to the ground. Turn the toes over, slide the forearms on the ground, lift up into cobra, clenching the bum, so my legs are off the ground. Lifting, uh, got my drawing my core in, resting on the bottom rib, opening that chest, and then lowering back down. Take hold of your left foot in your left hand and your right foot in your right hand. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Push those feet away into those hands and let those knees lift up off the ground. Breathing in, breathing out. Push those feet away, breathing in, breathing out. Lift that upper body off the ground as well, come up into that bow, breathing in, push those feet up to the sky, draw the tummy in and protect the lower back. Let release those legs, let them come down on the floor. 
Put those part of the palms of your hands next to your bottom ribs. Elbows in the sky, breathing in on the out breath, round the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Push off those arms and cut those hands and come into the cobra. Clench the bum, lengthen the legs. Push off those hands and come onto the pubic bone. Breathing in, breathing out. Push off those hands and come onto the knees. Tighten the thighs, lift those knees off the floor. Clench the bum, push into the hip flexors. Draw in the core and pull those bottom ribs to the sky. Open that chest, lengthen the front of the body and draw yourself nice and long. Drop the knees to the floor, go back into child pose, thumb in the air, all the way back into child pose, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Come up onto all fours. Turn the tailbone to the floor and arch the back up, eyes come down. Turn the tailbone to the sky, eyes come up, stretch through the front of the body. Come into neutral. Put the weight on the, on the left hand. Take the right hand all the way up into the sky. Lifting and turning and swing that, left, that right arm all the way through, threading the needle under this uh, left armpit. Right ear to the floor, breathing in. Breathing out and push. Breathe in and breathe out and bring that right hand all up into the sky. Turning those hips and then swinging that hand all the way down. And through again. And then all the way up into the sky, stretching it through that lower back, stretching through that chest and bring that hand back next to the other one. Transfer the weight and bring the left hand all the way up into the sky and swing that hand all the way through. Breathing in on the out breath, push off that hand. Lift that left hand all the way up into the sky and swing that hand all the way through again. Pushing that left shoulder to the floor, left ear to the floor, taking the eyes, looking through onto that armpit and pushing off that right hand, lift that left hand all the way up and bring those hands back next to each other. Slide them forwards on the mat a bit, <laughs> turn those toes over, breathing in on the out breath, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Neutral spine, lengthen the head from the tailbone, push off the toes and push that bum in the air. And slide yourself into that down dog position, pushing off the balls of the hands, knees are soft. Tummy button to the thighs, armpits to the toes, push that right leg back to straighten. Push that left leg back to straighten. Push both legs back. Take that tailbone up to the sky, pull those armpits to the toes. Take the right leg straight up behind you. Bend the knee, drop the foot and lift that knee up high. Look through under this left, this right armpit. Really stretch through that right hand uh, hip. And then swing this leg through into pigeon. Bring that foot to the left hand. Stretching that right leg back. Keeping this foot as close to the left hand as we can. Slide those arms all the way down and take the belly down towards the floor, breathing in, breathing out, lengthening that left leg away. Breathing in, breathing out, walk those hands back towards this front leg, roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. And the bend is at the hip flexor of the left leg, trying to get that pelvis vertical. So push off that leg with your hands, and try to get your pelvis vertical and feel the stretch in the back leg. Push the knees into the floor, take the hands off the ground, hold those hands together behind the back and push them away towards that back foot. Breathing in, breathing out, open that chest, reach and stretch. Bring those hands back either side of this front leg, lower those, the front of the body down to the ground and stretch those arms forwards. Breathing in, and on the out breath, release that bum and let, it, let the tension go. Breathing in. Breathing out. Walk those hands back to this front leg. Lift yourself up again. Push off that front knee. Take those hands together behind you. 
Open that chest, push those hands towards the back leg. Lift those arms up, really squeeze those shoulder blades together, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and on the out breath, release the hands, throw yourself all the way back down to the floor and release that buttock. Breathing in, release that right leg. Walk the hands back towards this front leg. One hand either side of the knee and the foot. Turn the back toe over. Lift your bum up into the air. Bring that right foot back next to the, the left one. Adjust your body. Push off the balls of the hands so the tailbone goes up to the sky. Straightening and lengthening that, that uh, torso into neutral spine. Push the right heel down into the floor. Push the left heel down into the floor. Push both heels down. Push the tailbone up to the sky, pushing away from the, from the balls of the hands. Breathing in, breathing out, loosen that head and neck. Lift that left leg straight up into the sky. Bend that left knee. Drop that left foot down towards the floor. Push the left knee up high. Look under this left armpit. Keep that right knee pointing towards the right hand. Stretch through the front of that hip. Swing that left leg through into pigeon by that right hand. Slide that right leg back. Hold on to the front of this foot if you, if you can. Breathing in and on the out breath. Lower yourself down to flat. Lower your tummy down to the floor. Much tighter on this side. Breathing in. Breathing out. And I'm keeping my elbows closer to my leg here so I can keep my hip horizontal. If I take my arms forward, I think I'm going to lose my hips going to move from being horizontal to the floor, parallel to the floor. Walk these hands back towards this front leg. Lengthen that back leg. I put one hand on the knee, one hand on the foot. I lift my body up to bend that and try and get this pelvis as vertical as I can. Lifting, push those knees into the floor, take the hands away, hold them behind the back and push them down towards that back leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. So because this leg, this left side for me is not as flexible, I feel it in my lower back because my lower back is trying to compensate. So breathing in, breathing out, release those hands and lower the body down to the floor. Take a big breath in and on the out breath, release through that hip. Breathing in and breathing out, release through that hip. Walk those hands back towards this front leg. Lift that pelvis to vertical, take those hands off the front leg, hold them together, push them down towards that foot behind, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Release those hands, pop them on the floor, slide your hands forwards, take a big breath in, breathing out. So that glute on my left side has released. And then walking my hands back towards this front leg. Got those hands so the middle fingers are parallel. Turn that back toe over. Lift the back knee off the floor and push that bum up into the air and come back into the down dog position. Armpits down towards the toes, soften those knees, push those heels down to the ground. Breathing in. On the out breath, come forwards into the plank. Hold yourself in the plank position. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. One glide, push forwards and back. Drop the knees, lower your body all the way down to the floor, turn the toes and come up into the cobra. Drawing the core in, so I kept my arms like this. Drawing the core in, resting on the bottom rib and the pubic bone. Lower down to the ground, slide the hands lower down towards my ribs, breathing in on the out breath, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back, 
Lift that chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Lift onto the pubic bone, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Lift onto the knees, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Tighten the thighs, lengthen the head from the toes, clenching with the bum, drop the knees to the floor, turn those toes over, up into down dog. Up into down dog, push those heels down to the floor, breathing in. On the out breath, right leg straight up in the air. Bend the knee, drop the foot to the floor, knee to the sky. Swing that leg through between your hands into the lunge position. Same legs come through into that lunge position. Breathing in. On the out breath, stretch to pushing the groin to the floor. Reaching the chest forward, step onto that front foot, bring the back foot level next to the front. Let yourself hang down. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Spread those toes, roll those shoulders back and down. Bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Hands together, reaching up tall, clenching with that arm, stretching through the tummy, release the arm, let them swing down by your side, chin into your chest and roll back down to forward fold. Loosen that head and neck. Step that right leg backwards, stretching through the chest. Pushing the chest forward, pushing the groin towards the front leg, keeping the back leg straight. Taking the weight on the hands, slide back into the plank. Slide forward, slide back, drop the knees to the ground, and lower yourself all the way down to flat. Turn the toes, come up into that partial cobra. Drawing the core, resting on the bottom ribs and the pubic bone, bellies off the floor. Breathing in, release to flat. Slide the hands down to the bottom rib. Roll the shoulders up to the ears down a breath. Breathing in on the out breath. Lift onto the bottom rib, straightening those legs, tighten the thighs. Lift onto that pubic bone. Breathing in. On the out breath, lifting onto the knees. Tighten the thighs, lift the knees off the floor, stretch the body. Drop the knees to the ground, turning the toes over, bum up in the air, back into down dog. Back into down dog. Right heel down, left heel down, both heels down. Push off the balls of the hands. Breathing in on the out breath. Left leg up in the air, bend the knee, drop the foot, lift the knee up high, look under that armpit. Swing that left foot through next, in between those hands. Stretching that back leg, that right leg backwards, pushing that chest forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Step onto this front foot. Let you leave yourself in forward fold. Take hold of your toes. Lift those toes up, spread them down on the floor, straighten those knees. Rolling all the way up to standing, bring those arms out wide, arms together, reach and stretch up tall, breathing in, breathing out. Widen those hands, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way down and let yourself hang. Stepping that right leg back, lengthening. Stretching the front of the body away, breathing in, breathing out. Drop that knee to the floor. Drop that knee to the floor and then come, come up and slide your back leg back so you come onto all fours. Onto all fours, turn the tailbone down, arch the back up. Turn the tailbone up. Lifting that, those eyes up, dropping that belly. Take your knees apart. I'm going to swing sideways. Take your knees apart on the mat. Slide them apart and come down onto your elbows. Take those knees as far apart as you can, keeping a neutral spine. Push those knees into the floor. Breathing in. Now slide those feet out so your feet are level with your knees. Push those knees into the ground. 
Breathing in and on the out breath, let your legs slide further apart. Push those knees into the ground. Breathing in, this is a good horse riding one. So if you can keep your feet out level with your knees, and even if you can put your toes on the floor and lift your heels up, yeah, then, you, then you're turning that leg like you have to when you ride. Release those feet and feel it in your bum. Glide forward, glide back. Glide forwards, glide back. Forward, neutral spine, back. So a dressage position is more with the body forwards in neutral. A jumping position is more with the body back with neutral spine. Glide forwards, glide back. Walk those hands back. Bring those knees together and come back up onto all fours. Come back up onto all fours. Roll those shoulders up to the knees down and back. Lengthen those legs away. Come into that plank position. Lower yourself down to the ground. Drop your knees if you need. Turn the toes over. Slide the hands down towards the bottom ribs. Breathing in and on the out breath, lift the upper body up. Come up onto the pubic bone, clenching with the bum. Come up onto the knees, coming into that up dog. Open the chest, tighten the thighs, lengthen the body. Dropping those hips down, open the chest, clench the bum, draw in the core. Knees to the floor, bum back, all the way back into child pose. Pushing those hands forward, breathing in, breathing out. Walk the, the hands towards the right hand side of the mat, stretch through the left. And walk the hands to the left hand side of the mat and stretch through the right. Bring those hands back into the middle. Come up onto all fours and walk your knees forward and through into sitting. Sit, hold on to those knees, pull the body up, pull those feet straight up to the sky. Open that chest, rolling those shoulders up to the ears down and back. Bring those hands up off the floor, bring that chest up high and lean back. Hold that tummy, bring those arms all the way up to the sky, all the way up over your head, all the way around to the floor, all the way back in front. Glide forward, bend at that hip joint. Glide back, bring those hands all the way up to the sky, all the way around, dust the floor. Bring those hands up in front, chests up. Glide forwards. Glide back, lift that chest up high, shoulders back, shoulders back. Bring those hands all the way up to the sky, all the way around, dust the floor. Bring them in front, hold yourself here. Roll yourself down to flat. Bring those hands all the way over the head. Push the right hand away from the right foot. Push the left hand away from the left foot. Hands to the sky, bring the right knee in. Pull the right knee to the armpit. Pull the right knee over the body and push that right hand away. Turn that head so you face those fingers. Put the right ear to the floor, put that left leg out straight. Reach that right hand away, reach that left foot away. Pull that left that right knee to the floor. Release that right, that right knee. Pull, go back onto your back and pull that right knee in towards the armpit. Take that leg away, take those arms away, straighten the body into a big arrow. Push, bring those hands to the sky, bring the left knee in, pull it up towards the left armpit. <clears throat> pull that left leg over the body, push that, turn those eyes to the left. Push that left ear to the floor, breathing in, breathing out. Push those left, the left hand away, left shoulder to the ground, left knee to the floor, breathing in, breathing out. Pull the uh, roll back onto your back. Take hold of this left knee, pull it up towards the armpit. Breathing in, breathing out. Take those fingers to the sky. Take that left leg out straight. Reach and lengthen. Breathing in. 
on the out breath, fingers to the sky, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Reach forwards to touch those feet. <clears throat> Breathing in. On the out breath, sit up nice and tall, hands horizontal to the floor, collapse that lower back and lay all the way back down onto the ground again. Bring those arms all the way over the head. Breathing in, neutral spine, shoulders back and down, bring those arms back down by your side. Middle rib, upper rib, middle rib, bottom rib on the floor. Lift that lower back, make sure your pelvis is in neutral. Lift that right leg straight up off the ground, making sure you've drawn those core muscles in. You're pulling your waist, your body away from your waistband. Lower that right leg down to the floor. Lift that left leg up to the sky. Lower that left leg down to the floor. Lift that right leg up to the sky. Lift the left leg up too. Lower the right leg down. Bring the right leg back up. Lower the left leg down. Bring the left leg back up, keeping the neutral spine. Take those legs out in the scissors, wide sideways. Put your hands on the inside of your thighs. Bring those legs back up. Lower both legs if you can, down to the ground. Drawing in that core, keeping those shoulder blades down. Breathing in. Open those hips, breathing out. Take those hands all the way over the body, reaching the fingers from the toes. Let the back arch up. Bring those fingers down to the side. Pop your hands under your bottom. Push off those elbows and accentuate that arch into the fish. Breathing in. Breathing out. Come onto the top of your head. Push your breastbone up high. Push those toes away from you. Breathing in. Breathing out and release. Bring those fingers up, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way up into sitting. Reach forwards towards those feet. Sit yourself up nice and tall, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back, hands behind your thighs, pull yourself forward, lift that breastbone up. Release the hands, roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Join the arms in so you do big circles, dusting the floor. Push the knees down, pull the toes up, fingers to the sky, all the way around. Dust the floor, lift that breastbone up, draw in that core, use the heels to pull your body forward onto your middle bottom. One more big circle with those arms and then leave them up in the sky. Big breath in, big breath out, reaching up tall, look up at those hands. Big breath in, fill those lungs up with air. Big breath out, release all the tension and look forward to a fun weekend. Well done girls, that was a bit more than you bargained for.